Hello guys, this is Can You Say Banana. Um, I'm giving another tutorial on the PS3 controller this time, and it's going to be how to set it up. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to MotionJoy.com and download the program, as Sony does not supply a first-party program for running the PS3 controller on your computer at this time. So go to Downloads, as I already said, and download the newest version. I'll have a link in the uh, description. Install it, etc., etc. And uh, once you've done that, it should show up on your desktop or wherever you said as DS3 tool. I'll just move it out here just for now. Sorry, I had to yawn, like kind of do a yawn thing there. Um, anyway, go ahead, plug in your controller now with the wire, with the uh, USB port on one end and the mini USB port on the other end plugged into your PS3 controller, which I'm doing at the second, as you heard there. And... It doesn't, it just made the sound, right? So it hasn't really recognized anything, uh, which is okay. And I've uninstalled pretty much every driver off my computer because I want to do a complete clean install for you guys to show you uh, how to do it from ground zero. But if you're kind of halfway through, that's okay too. You just pick up uh, where you could not get back on, if you know what I mean. And you go to control panel. I'm going to make sure that, you know, nothing's really recognized here. And, uh, well, it is kind of recognized here, so... It, it recognizes itself as a PlayStation 3 controller. If it doesn't show up as a PlayStation 3 controller, that's okay. Um, it just if it shows up as some sort of like USB complaint driver, as long as it recognizes that something is plugged in, good sign. You can fix it from there. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to Device Manager um, and Human Interface Devices and also make sure that's there. That's really important. And I'll show you a quick fix if, if you're still having trouble at, at this next part. So you're going to want to start up the DS3 tool. Go ahead and go to local. You don't have to go to local, um, but I'd suggest it. And for some reason, my page is loading weird, so I actually go back to home and click driver manager. Press yes. And as you can see, here are uh, two ports. Now, I actually know which one is mine. There is one, this one, and that, that has nothing to do with the PS3. I'm actually not sure what it is. Um, it might be my Bluetooth or something. I'm, I'm really not sure what it is. So uh, this is the one that I want. Now, if you're having trouble um, finding your PS3 controller in this part, um, here's where we fix it. We're going to go back to the device manager, find the HID complaint game controller, and update the driver software. Browse the computer. Uh, let you pick from a device. Uh, HID complaint game controller, next. And it should, you know, has successfully updated your driver software. There you go. Um, now, if you can find it, like if it doesn't show up as an HID game complaint controller, but like you know your PS3 is there, do the same thing. Just make it recognize itself as a game complaint or complaint game controller or whatever. Um, and you can exit that, um, start this up, probably reload the page, and um, find it should be there now. So you just check mark the one that's your PS3 controller, load the driver, give it a few seconds, or sorry, install, let it install, give it a few seconds, and um, it'll pop up at the bottom here. Uh, saying that it's successfully completed. If you're having any problems, you're unfortunately going to have to Google it because it can be different for everything, um, for every different problem. So just, you know, it'll give you a error report or whatever number. So just Google that and you should be able to get a fix. Anyway, once you've done that, it says successfully com completed. Go to profiles, is you can, as you can see, recognize this mine. Now for your first time, I'd suggest you just click the PlayStation 3, enable it, um, and go to the game controller panel. And as you can see, it recognizes it right there. Go to Properties, and you can move around. As you can see, it completely works. So you can test that. And then I prefer the Xbox 360 controller, but it might install something differently. That's why I suggest you uh, do the PlayStation 3 one first. So click the Xbox, mm -hmm. enable it, Game Controller Panel, um, sorry, Properties, and blah, blah, blah. So finally, once you've completed all that, um, you're good to go. You can pretty much use it in anything whatever depending on the program but for example I will show you project 64 go to options uh, controller panel and um, it'll probably ask you which one to select I'm gonna select that one obviously and then you can go you know select each thing with your by moving the stick or whatever it is anyway that's all there is to it so I hope this helped you guys out uh, thanks for watching